Purdue provided a robust foundational engineering education coupled with hands-on experience in labs. Students experienced challenging design projects that emphasize learning to work in teams. Cooperative education allowed me to not only gain work experience and begin to build our networks, but to understand better what kind of engineer I wanted to be and therefore how to shape the latter parts of my curriculum to take coursework well aligned with career objectives. To be successful though with some of the best students from the state and from the nation required more than just book smarts. It required organization, planning, prioritizing, commitment, sacrifice, long hours, getting back up after failure and trying again and again. Engineering school at Purdue taught me how to do hard things. I think one of my favorite uh, student experiences uh, from Purdue as an aeronautical engineering student was when we would have uh, laboratory classes uh, held on the property of the Purdue Airport. And so not only were we stepping out of the lecture hall as almost any engineering student would do it into a laboratory at first some classes, but our laboratory was on the grounds of the school's airport. So we had all of these tools and equipment and we're doing experiments and we were steps away from a full-size real aircraft taking off and landing at the at the Purdue Airport. And it was just, it was just like, ah, I've arrived, I think, you know, this is not just, uh, you know, going to a lecture hall and and, and just, you know, kind of studying somewhere, anywhere. I was at a place that had its own airport and had this, you know, tremendous amount of equipment. And I just really felt like, okay, we're not fooling around anymore. This is, I am, this is happening. This is happening. I'm really going to become an aeronautical engineer um, uh, in this environment. And that was, that was pretty damn cool. I would say that my major career highlights was taking over a firm that I was a member of and, and reorganizing it and taking an underperforming investment fund and making it one of the top in the industry. And how Purdue helped was the engineering degree. And I, well, I tell people I got an engineering degree, but I really got an engineering education at Purdue. Um, it, it's, as we all know, it teaches you how to think. It teaches you a way to approach a problem. And, and especially in, in aero, it teaches you how to make trade-offs. You know, uh, I think I was very lucky to have gone into aero. It wasn't, I just did it because I liked aeronautical engineering. I like, I'm a pilot, I like to fly. I you know, like everything uh, associated with it. But what aero does, which I think other engineering disciplines don't have, is it has massive trade-offs. Uh, um, you know, the minute you want to make, go faster, you've got to put, add more power. The minute you add more power, you've got to add more weight. More weight makes the airplane go slower, uh, you know, on and on. So uh, th there's trade-offs for everything. And that's not only really life, but business is very much that way. And how do you maximize one thing and how do you solve uh, um, for one thing, which in business generally is customer satisfaction and profits uh, uh, as opposed to, to, to speed and distance. But uh, um, it, they're, they're two sides of the same coin, and uh, I would have never thought that, that an engineering education was the... I have an engineering education and an MBA, and I use the engineering every day in the MBA once a month. that engineering, first of all, is one of those disciplines that's extremely flexible and broad um, and, and gives one the opportunity to have a lot of different optionality in your career. I think it also gives you the confidence to solve problems and also teach you the importance of teamwork, which obviously has served me well in my career uh, as a leader and executive in a company. Uh, obviously, you're coming from a, uh, a diploma, one of the top engineering degrees in uh, top engineering universities in the country, and, and it just gives you the confidence to take on challenges.
Purdue expanded my world. And so in that world expansion, without my Purdue degree, I wouldn't have seen ever a larger world that I have. So in my career, I've traveled to 49 out of the 50 states. Alaska is the only state that I've not been to through my career working in various fields. I have uh, climbed inside a cooling tower at a nuclear power plant while it was under construction. Been backstage at a Bruce Springsteen concert as part of a work assignment. And I've been in a helicopter over a NASCAR race to observe traffic. And that's a pretty exciting career. And without Purdue opening up that world of possibilities to me, I would never have gotten those types of really fun and cool experiences as part of my career. Getting admitted to Purdue was not an easy task. My application for the admission was not considered the first time, but I was determined to join the program at Purdue, and I did. Once my foot was in the door, the sky was the limit. So excited about being at Purdue, I was happily working very hard and enjoying every bit of it, and my expectations were increasing by the day. A few weeks after I was at school, I approached Mr. Titchener, the former university vice president, and asked him, how good should I be to earn Purdue's undergrad scholarship? He set the mark for me, and I left his office, running down the stairs of Harvey Hall, full of joy and determination. And by the end of the semester, I was granted the scholarship. A few weeks later, I had approached Mr. Titchener again and asked him, what does it take to keep my scholarship? He smiled and told me, you keep up and we keep on. And this was one of the most motivating phrases I have always remembered. Purdue helped me achieve my goals in a myriad of ways. Uh, first of all, just having the engineering credential opened many doors to opportunity. Also, engineering built on my love of building. I started out building technology and then organizations and then products and then brands and then global businesses. So it was all about building. Something else Purdue really helped with is it really taught me to use my resources, whether that was professors or teaching assistants, um, Society of Women Engineers or the organizations. Um, it, it really took that whole network to help me get through school. Uh, it also, um, the curriculum was very challenging and so just stepping up to meet the challenge of an engineering curriculum and then I also had to work to earn my way through school and just um, meeting those challenges taught me a couple things. One, that I was smart enough and resilient enough to achieve just about whatever goal I wanted to go after. one professor in particular who was ahead of his time and he felt that uh, instead of just lecturing you know he said I, I want to prepare students for the workplace and so there were courses where we had projects to do with a local company you know and power engineering it was with electric utilities 
So we had a we had course we had a, I had a course where we had a team of people. We had a a real project to solve at Commonwealth Edison in Chicago, and we we checked out a Purdue staff car. We had appointments we had set up. We drove to Chicago and had a full day of meetings with with key people at this electric utility and a real uh, design problem to solve. After my junior year in high school, I received an invitation to participate in the Minority Introduction to Engineering Program, or MITE, that was organized by Marion Blaylock. So this was a great program focused on students from underrepresented communities in engineering, and it was a one-week program to introduce students to the different disciplines of engineering. So we had a number of hands-on labs, we had activities for us to get to know Purdue, and then of course, in the evenings, late evenings, we had time to get together and have fun just as students, and in particular high school students. So that was great. Marion was very inspirational in making certain we got places on time, even if we stayed up late. Then, you know, after participating in the MITE program, I was so enthused about engineering. Um, I applied along with many others in the program. And after being accepted, we were invited back in the spring of our senior year to participate in, I believe, what was called a preview program. And during that weekend, we became more familiar with um, our particular majors that we had identified. And we also became familiar with different student organizations. So, for example, I became familiar with NSBE or the National Society of Black Engineers. And that was great because now you are um, in a community with your peers, you've been accepted, you get to know some other students, like for me from the Chicago area. We all said, okay, if you go, I'll go because we know each other. It was great. So a number of us accepted admissions and it was wonderful to see many of the students from the preview program as well as the MITE program. Their, you know, freshman year when my parents dropped me off, I got to hang with friends. And so it's been really great. had an excellent program that prepared me well for my career. What was really outstanding was its faculty, uh, including Dr. Jane Frazier, who was my uh, master's thesis advisor, and Dr. Jim Barony. I served as Dr. Barony's uh, teaching assistant for IE386, and I learned so much from both of them, including both how to teach and how to do research. Uh, that really set me up well for where I was to go in my future career. Purdue University, whenever it comes up, the first thing to everybody's mind is what an amazing engineering school. Well, with leadership comes responsibility. Purdue will continue to be that preeminent, you know, engineering school with highest standards to not just develop the best talent, but also drive the research and they're being in the forefront of pushing the limits of technology in partnership with academia as well as with the industry. One of those areas being semiconductor manufacturing and technology. This is a critical area that United States and rest of the world critically need in order to ensure that you maintain the balance of the supply chain and the technology and innovation and the talent pipeline into the United States and Europe and driving the rest of the world to that supply chain resiliency. This is critically important and Purdue being in the forefront of that, it's something that I hope keep the momentum and keep pushing the capability forward. I 
engineering education was the foundation for my career. But it was the IE co-op program that really changed my life. I always wanted to work for Disney, but unfortunately Disney was not a participant with the Purdue co-op program. But fortunately, the IE program administrator became my partner and helped me connect with Disney. And it changed all that. I was the very first Purdue IE co-op at Disney. This experience and opportunity really was the catalyst for my career. But not just for me. I am so thrilled that it, so many have come after me. We have had many Purdue IE interns and co-ops and full-time engineers, um, which makes me so proud. I started, I was a first generation college student. My sister was actually my role model. She was the first in our family to go to college. And in fact, she also went to Purdue. Um, and I was honored really to participate in Purdue's Minority Introduction to Engineering program, which was then led by the visionary Marianne Blaylock. And that experience was truly transformative. Uh, being from a working class family, of course, the financial support issue was critical, um, but the welcome that I received both from the Minority Introduction to Engineering program and then also from uh, the School of Materials Engineering was really critical to my success as a Boilermaker. Purdue, I, I really learned how to do a hard research project. The classes were tough. Purdue was tough. The classes were tough. It was a top five mechanical engineering program at the time. Um, the research was tough. Uh, I learned that not everything in research works the way you want it to. You kind of, you know, some things work and some things don't. And you learn from everything that happens. Um, and I learned from Purdue, I learned that I myself am very resilient and uh, tenacious in pursuing a goal. And so by being able to get through that, um, I gained a lot of self-confidence in my ability to do hard things, but also to lead others to do hard things. The best memory I have of Purdue is really nerdy. I love challenges, I'm competitive, and some of the problem sets we get were incredibly hard. And I can remember really late nights working in the library, getting through a problem set, walking home to the apartment or the dorm. It was usually late at night. Often it was in the winter, clear sky, stars out. And I just felt a sense of accomplishment that I had gotten through a problem set that I didn't think I would be able to do the day before. And it gave me the confidence to know that I'd be able to take on a bigger challenge the next day. I'm proud to have worked for companies such as LG Electronics in Korea, General Electric in USA, and Samsung Electronics in Korea. And currently, I'm with the Media Group in China. But one of my most significant achievements was my promotion to be an executive as a vice president and the later senior vice president at Samsung, where I was responsible for the development of laundry product and made a big impact on the American market. The key to success was my deep understanding of advanced technology, which I obtained while studying for my PhD at Purdue. The education I received at Purdue was invaluable and allowed me to excel in my field. In addition to the education I received, I also had the privilege of meeting and befriending international students from all over the world during my time at Purdue. This diverse network of friends helped me tremendously when I was creating global identity network and manufacturing basis for Samsung. So I want to express my gratitude to 
Purdue for providing me with a solid education and for creating community where I could connect with people from all over the world. Every summer, Ray and Barbara Visconta, my advisor and his wife, would invite all of their graduate students, all of his graduate students, and their families uh, to their home for a summer barbecue. It was a warm and wonderful experience. It was reflective of how he interacted with his students, and, and she was a full partner in that as well. Uh, once, at one summer party, Ray was uh, grilling hamburgers, turning those burgers, and he apparently burned them. And all of us students uh, heard his wife, Barbara, say, my husband's a world-renowned expert in heat transfer and he can't even grill a hamburger. <laughs> uh, the, he, he never thought of himself as being uh, above any of us. He, he, was, he loved to be in the lab. He loved to have students in his office. Uh, and those mem so many of my memories revolve around that, that very kind of feeling that I got. Mm -hmm.